Rapid Fire Excel by Excelivers.com. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to quickly cut up text in one column into multiple columns. When you want to take text and split it from one column into multiple, there's a couple ways to do it. The easiest is text to columns. Within text to columns, there's two different options. One is you cut the text based on a certain character that's in the text. Two is you cut the text at a certain place. This tutorial will cover the former, where we'll cut the text based off the space in between the name. So let's say you have this situation. We have a name, and in one cell you'll see there's the first and the last name. But you need, for whatever reason, to cut that into two columns. So you need the first name here, Jack, and the second name here, Willibur. So what you do is simply highlight your data, go to Text to Columns, which is under the Data tab, Text to Columns, and a little wizard will pop up. You'll see two options here. The first is Delimited, which is where you cut by characters. The next is Fixed Width, which we're not going to cover in this tutorial. So go ahead and select Delimited and hit Next. Here, it'll show you what, it'll ask you what you want to cut based upon. There's a couple options that are already preset up. You might want to cut based on a comma, a semicolon, a tab. You can define your own character, which we'll cover in a bit. Or you can actually use the space, which is what we want here. You'll see that once you do that, a little preview pops up that shows how your data will look once this is finished. Scroll down just to make sure everything looks good, because sometimes the last name or the second half of your data might have a space and it might make things a little funky, so it's good practice to check. You can pretty much ignore this, because if this, this means if there's two spaces in between the name, you can treat that as one, which is probably what we want. So go ahead and hit Next here. This screen, the third step, you can more or less ignore. It allows you to choose the uh, data format that, that you've got and, and pick a destination for where you want to cut it. Um, go ahead and hit finish, and you'll see that it worked. So here we have the first name in this column and the last name in this column. That's text to columns. So let's do one more example just to show you how that works. So in this situation, you'll see we have commas. So there's also a space, but what we want to do is cut based off the comma. So you do the same thing. You highlight the data, hit text to columns, select the limited. But here, we don't want a space. We actually want a comma. You'll see what it's doing here. It's cutting based off the comma. But it's also leaving a space, because there's a comma and then a space. So you can select multiple of these. So go ahead and hit Finish. And then it did the exact same thing. Lastly, just as a point, we can show you how to do it based off a character. So let's say you want to cut these names up, but you only want to cut them at the letter A for whatever reason. You can do the same thing, choose Other, hit A, and you'll see that your text will be split at every point that there's an A. You hit Finish and it's done. That's text to columns in a nutshell using the limited. It's very, very, it's a very, very useful feature in Excel and we definitely recommend you getting to know it. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comments and as always, let us know what you'd like us to cover in future tutorials. Thank you.